Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosa. Uh, going on a bit of a leisurely stroll today in the direction of Bethlehem from Jerusalem. So what a lot of people, what's fascinating about this city and this region is the extent to which Bethlehem, Ramallah and Jerusalem are kind of like one city. I mean, you can literally zoom out on a map and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, so as an Israeli citizen, I can't enter Area A, the West Bank, under normal circumstances, which is all the cities, Bethlehem, Ramallah, Janine, all the places under full Palestinian control. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you can't walk out. And actually the walk from Jerusalem to Bethlehem. South from Jerusalem, I'm walking here on Der Hebron, Hebron Road. And uh, you can walk for, it takes only about an hour, depending upon where you start in uh, South Jerusalem, to get to the checkpoint, checkpoint 300 with Bethlehem. But I'm walking southbound here and traffic here is going out towards Bethlehem, traffic on the other side is coming in towards Jerusalem and this here on my right is Talpio which is one of the uh, industrialized neighborhoods here in Jerusalem. Lots of factories there, not a whole lot else to see um, and this is Der Hebron going towards, which means in, in uh, English Hebron Road. I'm just using Google Maps to keep track of approximately where I am and as you can see I'm coming up through here, Asher Wiener Street, and then after that, Derek Heb Hebron Road continues all the way to that checkpoint, checkpoint 300. Let me just show you guys where I am. So we're continuing southbound here, going out of Jerusalem, and these big buildings behind me, those are the towers. It's kind of our Nona here, and this is kind of about the most southbound point in Jerusalem that's still really Jerusalem. I'm gonna actually do a video, if I can remember, when I'm crossing the Green Line. The Green Line actually goes along Derek Hebron Road, but there's really nothing to see. There's no actual uh, physical demarcation of the Green Line, which is really was only really ever intended as an armistice boundary between Israel and Jordan. But the Green Line does cross along these road, this road. This is some of the uh, scenery here, still going along Hebron Road, and we're just uh, running parallel now to Talpiot. And uh, there's some really interesting houses along the way here. I'm not sure what this thing is. There's like this random house with an Israeli flag. And these are all these really tall buildings here. Hey, we're just coming up to uh, Ramat Rachel now. This gas station here is actually, uh, it's labeled uh, David Alon Ramat Rachel. It's a supermarket, it's the last gas station. And this means that we're already pretty close to where the green line is. And this road's actually also used by people living in what's called Gush Etzion, which is a block of uh, settlements over the green line. And they would take this road going out of Jerusalem, but the road bifurcates. Um, and they take a right turn where the checkpoint is. You can see here Gush Etzion. And Gush Etzion is called in Hebrew Gvish uh, Haminerot, which means the road of the tunnels. And that's because when you go through Bethlehem, there's a tunnel that brings you like under Bethlehem for a few seconds. Okay, still walking to Bethlehem as per the sign. And you can see we're far enough now in South Jerusalem. That stuff is starting to get pretty scraggly. These lovely olive groves here by the road. And we're heading southbound towards uh, Bethlehem and uh, the West Bank, etc. And coming up on my left, we've actually just passed Ramet Rachel. You can see that's the um, Israeli place just outside of Jerusalem. Okay, we're just passing by the entrance to Chomat Shmuel. This is uh, built over the Green Line. It's an Israeli... Uh, neighborhood of Jerusalem and you can see it in the distance there's some gorgeous views here looking over the West Bank. So just on the walk to Bethlehem now I decided to call into a local uh, beer place and it's amazing that even in this kind of remote part of the road outside Jerusalem you can find a Carlsberg and beer. So I'm just taking a quick hydration break before uh, continuing further towards, uh, towards Bethlehem on this amazing walk. This is a really, really nice walk. Despite the fact it's next to a really busy walk, this here is traffic coming into Jerusalem on the other side going into Bethlehem. But check out the scenery behind me. I'm doing this walk around sunset here, just like beautiful olive groves. And what you're looking at behind me is uh, East Jerusalem, Har Choma, and actually looking to the West Bank. And if we just go a little bit further up this way, what you can see, there's actually a amazing monastery uh, that is a popular site for pilgrims. You can just see behind me here in the background. I believe it's called Mar Elias Monastery and you can see all these kind of uh, crazy West Bank scenery and just here there is a monastery 
uh, which we're about to pass. See the monastery, it's actually a Greek Orthodox church. We're actually getting closer and closer to Bethlehem here. I'm still heading southbound. And this is actually, there's amazing to see there's still Egged buses on the road here. And if you see this right turn, the junction coming up, this is Rosemarine Street and on the right is Gilo. So this road here in front of me heads towards the checkpoint. And uh, this is a little road here to Mar Elias Monastery. And what you're already seeing in the distance is actually part of Bethlehem here. These houses front to camera. What an unusual time to take this trip. Sundown here in Jerusalem, you can see the beautiful sunset here. And I'm just here, just in front of the uh, road here, the bifurcate. And the view here is absolutely unbelievable. These houses you can see in the distance, that's already in Bethlehem Beit Sahor. So is, uh, so is this over here. And traffic is mixed. You can see a sign here for the monastery we just passed. Okay, so we're now on the final stage of our journey, crossing the road here. To the right of me is Gilo, and this is the road leading out to checkpoint 300. So if you are interested in going, walking between Bethlehem and Jerusalem, this is going to be the last stretch of road. I'm actually surprised to see that there are Egged buses. Egged, for those who don't know, is the um, Israeli bus company. There's Egged buses that actually go this far. And I think there's final bus stops just before the checkpoint. You can just see here in the distance, it's just sunset here in Jerusalem, so the light's fading pretty quickly but that is uh, Har Choma, also known as Chomat Shmuel uh, which is just next to Bethlehem almost there at checkpoint 300 coming into Bethlehem on the road here and uh, about a uh, let's say a 45 minute walk if you're starting in South Jerusalem but there are people I've heard of who have made the pilgrimage from Jerusalem literally walked into Bethlehem through this checkpoint and you can definitely do it uh, so we're almost there I'm just going to show you guys probably won't be able to go much further here on the road uh, but this is what it is okay so we're just getting closer to the checkpoint itself starting to get pretty military looking lots of barbed wire i think this is like a bus depot for those uh, arab buses going to uh, going into the checkpoint itself and you can actually see the houses of bethlehem here in the center of my screen so beautiful olive groves here on the right completely looks kind of like almost uninhabited land uh, and you can see all, our, all in the background that's all Bethlehem you can actually even see uh, the hotel there it's Hantour you can see in the distance that concrete structure there skirting through the landscape that's the separation barrier there's a hotel here called the Tantour Ho House Hotel this is where the road bifurcates on the right you can visit Rachel's tomb and on the left you can go into Bethlehem itself this is one of the signs you have these all over the West Bank it's letting you know that the Israeli citizens are not able to go into this. This road leads in here into area A of the West Bank, so it's not allowed for uh, Israeli citizens. So this road will be going into area A. And you can see the traffic here uh, going in. That's probably an alternate route into Bethlehem. Okay, this is as far as I'm going to go. I'm pretty much almost in Bethlehem. This is, you can see in front of me here, the separation barrier that is separating between Bethlehem and uh, Jerusalem. And you can see here the terminus of the checkpoint itself, checkpoint 300 here is on my left and uh, there's still, I'm, as, I, as I said in a previous video, I'm absolutely amazed that you can actually walk all, I've just continued this way from Jerusalem all the way out here and there's still two lanes of traffic so you can walk and if you're a pilgrim walk, that wants to walk into Bethlehem you just need to go through this terminus here. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video, hope it was interesting. If you're interested in watching more videos, I'm going to show you stuff on the ground in Jerusalem and Israel, interesting things, then please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.